Slender Man. Is this a controversial opinion that I don't find him scary at all? How dare you? How he is slender and he has no <laughs> face. Hey, I don't body shame. No, I'm just saying he's a very tall man. <laughs> tall, slender man. I hadn't thought of it that way. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live. Is that it? Yeah. Is, that, is that all you got? <laughs> is, that, is that all you're doing? I suppose so. I thought I would get like another <laughs> sentence or two out of you at least. Welcome look, to GT look, Not Live, where today did, Matthew is very enthralled with this game he's playing. Well, see, I'm almost done making my whale. Okay. I'm making my whale using small triangles, and I'm almost there. So here, get, <laughs> stall for another like second or two. Do you guys like spooky season? I sure do. And today, I thought we would talk about what scares us on a deep personal level. Oh wow! I'm so excited. Like, like I'm me, so curious where this is going. I love me, everything that's this, happening over here. This is a real, actual, legitimate fear I have. I am terrified of sea monsters. One hundred percent real. Yes. Like, you know why no one ever sees them anymore? One hundred percent kill efficiency. Oh. No one ever sees them anymore because they're all dead. Everyone dies. Out on the ocean. <laughs> You're interrupting my whale, but I'm very confused and befuddled by your assertion about these sea monsters and their yes. kill efficiency. Yes. <laughs> you seem very confident about this, too, Lee. No, like, uh, like actually, I have like I, I think it's called thalassophobia. The okay. Fear of like the the big deep ocean. Uh huh. Like I've heard bottomless that, yes. ocean. Uh huh. And it, part of that comes from like, hey. We evolved to get off of, like, out of the water and onto land. So yeah. why would you go back into the water where there are things that can eat you, like yeah. giant whales? Uh-huh. Huh. That's scary to me. That's scary to you, huh? Yes. Fascinating. Terrifying. But wouldn't people still see deep, evil sea creatures? You're right. There's 100% kill efficiency. But, like, I don't know. Don't you think there would be, like, some sonar evidence or some video evidence somewhere or something like that? Hey, I've seen stuff. I've seen YouTube videos. Apparently you haven't seen the sea monsters, though. Because yeah, of the 100% kill efficiency. So this whole time I've been playing Crosswords, and it's gotten me into the New York Times app, which has yeah, all the, like... The cinematic universe of games. Which, which is shockingly robust, right? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, no, believe okay. it or not. So I started on the crossword because I'm like, I want to hop into crosswords and New York Times has like the highest consistency of like high quality crossword. They okay. get harder as the week goes on. So okay. Monday is like pretty easy, but then by like Friday, you're like, oh, this is tough. Saturday's brutal and then Sunday's a hit or miss, but it's longer, right? You would, you would think they would like, at least during the week, <coughs> kind of like, you know, ebb and flow. No, they're, you're, you're getting up. You know, it's, See, it's by, tough. By Friday, like I, I imagine a lot of people would be like, listen, I don't know words anymore. Well, I, it's, I think it's more so by Friday, it's like, well, I'm not doing work, so I'm going to spend the next hour <laughs> on this Fair crossword. Enough. No, which is, which is one of the reasons why I don't, like, I will have a set, about a six-day streak every week where I'll be able to do, like, all six from, like, Saturday to Thursday. Thursday's tough. But then Friday, I'm like, I, I, I don't have time for this. Like, this is too hard. I, I, I got this, so I got to do work. But I, um, I have actual work to yeah, do. Yeah, but since then... It's now expanded me out into, I, I went through a Wordle phase, but Wordle is on there now. So like Excellent, every yeah. once in a while I'll be like, I guess I could do a Wordle. Like Wordle got too repetitive for me for a while. There are all, only so many five letter words. Right, and, right. And, and once you reach an optimized strategy for Wordle, it becomes kind of like yeah. boring because it's like, I know my three go-to words and that eliminates so many letters. And you get, <laughs> that goes through, yeah, fif yeah 15. Yeah, right? it's, it's not, it's not super exciting sudoku i went through a phase when i was younger but i got bored of sudoku but that's i did a there. bunch of sudokus back in the day right back. remember brain age oh yeah, yeah absolutely i was doing brain age all the time 100 percent um, paying attention in class yeah and, and and that's another one where i'm like it got repetitive after, whereas like words and clues can like crosswords can do a lot of different things and you could do like puns with the clues and this and that long and short like it, there's a lot of things whereas Sudoku is, it's always numbers and it, it feels very rote after a while um, 
new one is connections, where you have groups of uh, you have to group groups of four words together yeah. by common theme. That's been fun. That's been my new thing. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. So anyway, and then sometimes on a, a day where I'm waiting for like the, the camera to roll, I'm like, well, I can't really. I'm help draw in this a whale situation. real quick. So there was there's one where you can just like draw a bunch of small triangles and they connect to each other. And so cool. I drew a whale. So so that was that. Anyway, uh, do you do you Im- do you imbibe with the uh, New York Times games at all? I I don't really do mobile games that much. Yeah, and I, that kind of like lumps into that for me. Yeah. Uh, the only like real mobile games I do yeah. are like uh, there's a game called Threes. <coughs> yeah. Which is like one of those uh, swipe the smaller numbers trying to combine them into bigger numbers. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, that that's one's cool. really fun. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. Nice. Awesome. How dare you? What? Minimize the New York Times games oh, as uh, mobile oh, games. No! How hey, there some, dare you? Hey, there are some quality mobile games out there, okay? Like threes. Oh, Call like Dragon. Threes. Call. Great. <laughs> you know, Dragonair is going. I can't say that. Dragonair. Dragonair is already up. Yeah, it's true. It, it's there. No. So, Ash, you have strong feelings about the New York Times as well? I don't have strong feelings about many things. But <laughs> I understand that feel. I, you and me, we, we share okay. that in common. No, I I live and die by the New York Times games. I I actually, t- true story. Ash was featured in a Mashable article about New York Times games. The the, the last one I mentioned. I didn't realize I was sharing the room with a famous person. It's, it's, yeah, right. <laughs> Ash Ash's tweet about connections, the new <laughs> New York Times like game was on a Mashable article about connections. Yeah, the there tweet. it is. There's the tweet. You can't see it on the screen because it's tiny, but believe that's that's Ash's avatar. Yeah. No, it's a thing. So uh, basically, the long and short of this is at some point, Ash, when when all the guests have kind of rotated through and, and everyone sends back home, we will sit down on the couch together and we'll just do an episode all of the New York Times. We'll just go you and New- do a New York Times Let's Play. Yeah, yes. that's what we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be for all the deep cut fans. Uh, all you wordle, pop it off, man. Could do a crossword. We'll do all of them. Every single Every New York single Times one. game. Yeah. Yeah. The rare Matt Nash on the couch. Maybe we'll do, we could do it as a live stream, even. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> the, power. the power that invites. You know, maybe, maybe we'll do a Friday. <clears throat> then it'll be like, Ooh. Ooh. We'll need, we'll need the, the collective internet hive mind. That goes kind of crazy. That, that's going to be popping off. Uh, you know what else is popping off today's episode? Where we are talking about spooky season. I um, love spooky season. Yeah? Yeah. It's so one, of my, one of my favorite times of year. Like, fall's coming. And at that point, by, by the time spooky season's here, fall is here. It is. It, is, it has arrived. Is amongst one of the best times of the year. It is amongst us. Like, <laughs> what? It is, uh, it one is of the top, top four. four. <laughs> yeah. One of the top four times of the year. Yeah, it is. It's really uh, up there. Yeah. No, but I, I, I love the weather. I love the, the colors. Yeah. I love just the general vibe of everyone just being like, yo, let's like spook each other, but like not like too bad. That's true. Yeah. That's accurate. Do you have a favorite like spooky like, spooky thing that you like to do during spooky season? I love going to the haunted houses and seeing like how the actors commit to it. Like, <laughs> I can just imagine Lee going through a haunted house and like all these actors. You're doing like, a great job. You're like, hmm, good commitment. <laughs> great. I, I didn't buy that one beat. I, lo- I love the makeup work. Yeah. That moment where you tore at your face in yeah. agony, I wasn't quite buying that, but I really appreciate that you made the choice. <laughs> this, this, we all take risks. Yeah, it was, it was a bold risk. <laughs> ah, I love it. But no, oh. like, like uh, I, I, I just love, like, that vibe. Yeah, I, no, I love people who put themselves out there and like, yeah. I'm I'm gonna scare little kids. Do, do, do you get like, or adults? And if it, you've ever watched the GT Not Live episode where <laughs> Steph and I go to the Halloween Horror Nights and go through some of the mazes, that was not played up for the camera in the slide. I was terrified every step That's of the amazing. way. It's so scary. Do you not get scared? And not else? sadly, no. Mm-hmm. Like, I really struggle with things that are supposed to be scary because yeah. like I can't. Take it's very sad, honestly. <laughs> I can't take myself out of the like experience of I am in a comfortable air conditioned theater. Yeah, interesting. And yeah. Uh, I have to judge this movie by its <laughs> merits yeah. as a horror movie yeah. instead of how spooked I huh, was. Interesting. Yeah, for me at this point, it's one of those things where I can watch or play most horror things and not be. There's a couple things that get me, but for the most part, I'm pretty good. But the live action haunted house, like, like physically being there, physically being yeah. there. 
that puts me in the mood enough, and and I know that someone's gonna jump out at me, and I know that it's gonna freak me out, and like so I'm like on edge the entire mm -hmm. like that that one gets to me for sure. Uh, but the reason we bring all this up is because today uh, Lee, Mr. Film Theory himself. Uh, has challenged me, not really challenged, but has has proposed that we do a horror movie tier list, which I like uh, because it is important for us on these theorist channels to know our horror history and be aware. Uh, I am slowly doing a project where I'm forcing Tom to be aware of a lot of these because Tom <laughs> is like, oh, those are a little bit scary. <laughs> Tom doesn't watch movies. and He's, he's, he, he's getting better. Yeah, we need to fix that. He, he, well, like, he was very eager to talk to Oppenheimer or talk about Oppenheimer with us. I know, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, That's kind of scary. Ash, Ash just shaking their head <laughs> off camera. Yeah, what? What? Do you have thoughts, Ash? <clears throat> I just, of all the movies, I really hoped that Barbie would be the one that Tom would want to he talk more up. about. Oh yeah, no, he yeah. did. But you know, to go to go so hard on Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is a great film. Yeah. But like in this space, <laughs> in this environment, in this economy, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Not talking about Barbie. You're sleeping on Barbie. Yeah. It's so, not, it's so true. So what we've done here is we've assembled a tier list of uh, iconic horror movie villains, uh, and we're going to rank them from A to F. We should probably should have come yeah. up with some funny terms, but we didn't do that. <laughs> ah. Bu 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 bu. <laughs> okay. Uh, Keep going. Uh, I like I like where you're <laughs> headed. I like where your head's at. Ah, jeez, that was scary. <laughs> ah, jeez. Okay. Duh. And. Duh. <laughs> That's great. Well done. Well That's, done. That is well the done. official tier list of horror movie monsters. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ah! Ah! Real boop, monsters. Boop, 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 boop. Stuttering, scared. C, D, and F. Okay. There and it is. The rest. Oh, yeah. and, and the rest. We'll, we'll go through them as we go. Yeah, so, uh, yes. It, we've done a tier list before together. We have. With Marvel. So the general rules. It lasted I, I, a I would long like to. Time. It was like yes, five it did. Uh, Hopefully, this won't. <laughs> yeah. I would like to, like, similar rules where it's like, hey, let's try to maintain a bell curve. Okay. Uh, we should try to agree where it goes. Sure. I'm good with that. And uh, how, how are we going to rank this, you think? Uh, when it comes to horror movie monsters? Yeah. I think there's probably, it's, it's probably a, a couple of criteria that ebb and flow, but I think it's like, how iconic are they? Like, some, yeah, have, more, some have more lasting power than others. How scary are they? How like and and how threatening like in theory I think like yeah. I, I think you and I are both able to kind of take ourselves out yeah. of it enough to say that is objectively or inobjectively scary. Yeah, like how big of a threat do they pose? Yeah, because like there's an there's a, a world where it's like oh I could beat that or I could like run away or like oh <laughs> I, I could well, fight yeah, that yeah I could fight that like oh or I run away or is it, is it scary? Um, so I feel like that's probably one. Yeah. Maybe like, like a lasting power. Sure. Like. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of like legacy or yeah, legacy, legacy is the, I think the better word yeah. for it. Has this has this entity been able to sustain like five hundred movies? <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. Is Jason Which, Voorhees on here? Is he? Yeah, yeah uh, uh, second row all the way to the left. Second row. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, he's he's yeah, good. Okay, speaking of five thousand movies. Yeah, I, was, I know. That's why I'm like, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute, did he get on there? But yeah, so. Uh, that is that is the plan of the day. We'll try to keep it one upload just for our own sanity. Well, we'll try to work through them fast. Yeah, totally. And Ash, are you on board with this too? I'm curious about I what I'm I like. I was so scared of horror movies when I was growing up, and so I would walk through the blockbuster back when I was growing up. Blockbuster existed as an entity, and I would walk through the blockbuster horror movie aisle and just look at the box art and be fascinated by it. And I was always too scared to do it. Stephanie is the one who made me okay with watching horror movies. She doesn't. She likes being scared. But she's too scared to do them alone, and so I had That's to get, great. yeah. So I had yeah. to be brave enough to watch horror movies with her, and then I became like the guy who's like, "Oh, I can watch anything now." Um, you guys I, make like, each other better. Yeah, we we strengthen <laughs> each other absolutely. Um, but I think it's always really fascinating to see where people are most scared. First and foremost, car. <laughs> That is the car from that Stephen King movie where the car comes to life and then yes, it is. tries to kill you. Yeah, Christine is technically the name of it. I like my title better. I, I do. It's, it's <laughs> very direct. Haunted cars, I feel in general, missed opportunity. There for are surprisingly the, few. Right? And and uh, Ollie, so Ollie's really into Goosebumps books right now. And so we've awesome. read like dozens, I, I kid you not, dozens of Goosebumps. He loves them so much so that we're like, hey, we have to mix in some like feel good stories. But all these all these stories <laughs> are just parents gaslighting their kids about like, no, there's no monster. And then they're the monster the whole time. Um, but we've gotten into the habit of making up our own monster movies. And like, what, what could our Goosebumps book be? And he like wants Haunted Car so badly. They loves, should make one. They should. You guys uh, should write that. This is F tier. 
<laughs> that being said, here's the thing. When I first pulled this up, you're like, what is that one? And I'm like, it's the haunted car. And Ash doesn't know. And no and one remembers. I, I thought it was a different movie. Right. No yeah. one knows what this is. So when it comes to legacy and lasting ability, <laughs> not so yeah. much. When it comes to threat, I mean, I'm not getting in that car, so it's not locking me in that car. And when it comes to chasing me down, yeah, it might pose a threat on, on the road, but it's also going to get pulled over by cops. I don't know. I don't think Christine is really... Do you think Christine obeys traffic laws? No, certainly not. <laughs> Christine does yeah. not obey. But the fact that that's even a question, I feel like is, one, indicative <clears throat> of how unimportant this horror movie agree. monster is, and two, we see a world where it could be obeying movie monster yeah. rules. I, I think... As you said, Haunted Car has a lot of potential, lot of potential. This is not that it. this one does not live up to. Because, like, the idea of, hey, this is a, a two-ton metal monstrosity that I am in control of every day and could kill me right. at any moment. Yep. That could be terrifying, yep. but alas. Right. I didn't know what it was. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so Missed opportunity. The fact that it's one of the only Stephen Kings to not get, like, a whole bunch of remakes also, I think, says a lot. Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah, right. Speaking of Stephen yeah, King. Things. Pennywise is on here twice. Uh, <laughs> th this is Pennywise the Clown from It, the, both the Tim Curry and the, I, th I think it's Bill Skarsgård version. There yeah. are a bunch of Skarsgårds out there. There's, there's a lot. Of, they, they multiply, those Skarsgårds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the Tim Curry, and then there's the, like, the more recent yeah. reboot version. Um, thoughts? I uh, have thoughts. I'm not a fan of clowns. But at the same time, <laughs> just in general, uh, uh, it, like actually, and like I, I, I'm not one of those people who finds them like actually super scary. Yeah. But like, they play this up well in it being creepy. Mm -hmm. That being said, I think they're goofy. Yeah. How do you feel about giant cosmic space crabs, though? That's a little scarier. Because that's, that's, that's it's verging on sea monster territory. Right. Cause, I was gonna say <laughs> you're getting close to under the sea. It's like Sebastian on steroids. I mean, what is a, a giant uh, Lovecraftian space monster, but a, a sea monster in space? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So you know, even though they're clowns, yeah, lest so, we so forget. True, so true form, Pennywise. Yeah. Spoiler alert: <laughs> If anyone's ever not seen it, and this is spoiler alert for the twist that you'll never see coming. The evil clown that kills kids is secretly a space crab that was like one of the originators of the universe because Stephen King wrote these in the 80s and was on some real yep. weird stuff. Let's be a honest. lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it. it, it it's, and it's arch... Last, last <laughs> little factoid here. These, these space clowns, are th their arch nemesis is a space turtle. Giant <laughs> cosmic space turtle. Yep. So there you go. And you beat them by, like, just being mean to them, which I think is a bit, like... See, that, uh, right? I think that's, at the end of the day, one of the things that hurts Pennywise in both versions. <laughs> you just kind of bully is, him. Yeah, you bully him, <laughs> and he feels bad about himself and disappears down a sewer. Like, he's beaten by a group of kids who say mean things to him and throw rocks and sticks. Sticks and stones may break his bones and also And scare words him. will also kill him. <laughs> right, and, 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 and he's defeated by all those things. Um, I would put these in C. Like, I would put. I, I here's the thing. I love Tim Curry. I do not, not love him. Not in his this best role. Not, <laughs> not not great in that one, honestly. And I love this version of Pennywise because I think his voice is scary. I think he's particularly frightening. He does a funny little dance, <laughs> and I appreciate his funny little. Dance. And he truly mastered the Jack Nicholson. Like, yeah. Ugh. Right. Coming to and, get you, kid. And also, you know, any any character <clears throat> who pops out of a sewer and starts, you know, luring me into a sewer to eat my face, that's scary. But not, you know, but also I could just walk away. Be like, you know what? I'm yeah, not... so sadly, these ones don't float down here. Yeah, it is no. <laughs> we all don't float this time. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Michael, Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Classic Halloween. Yep. The spoopiest Thoughts? of spoopy movies. It is named after the spoopy season itself. It is. My oh, Michael Myers itself, I the think. The face, as he was originally like, known as. Uh, in terms of like legacy, yeah. one of the greats. Yeah, it's like true. he he's been around since the seventies. The way his costume set up, literally anybody could play him. Yep. Um, I think the idea of the unstoppable. I have tried everything to stop this scary, strange man. Yeah. And he is just walking at a brisk pace towards me, <laughs> and will not stop. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, the whole thing, right? He doesn't like, stop. I think that that's horrifying, personally. Yeah. Like, I. I think he's a great movie monster, stood the test of time. And I, I think one of the reasons that is is because he doesn't talk either. Yeah, it's true. Like, yeah, he, 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 you never hear too much from this guy, which is great. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Yeah, so, so I, I'd put him in like 
with, with potential to move up into ah right he's he is just a guy but he yeah. withstands a lot of like he takes all the firepower it, it might as well be like a zombie right, right. And he might be a zombie in some of the movies. I, you know what? I, I would agree with B. The fact that he's merely a human is a little bit lame, which puts some limitations on him. Mm -hmm. Like, he can't be appearing out of nowhere. Like, you, there are things that you can do to get rid of him, right? We did a whole episode about how you could beat Michael Myers in Halloween. And unlike some other things that I know are coming up on this tier list, right? Like... You could trap him in a box, and as long as no <laughs> idiots <laughs> open it up. As like, long as the sequel doesn't happen. Right, as yeah. long as no one's sequel baiting, he's trapped in that box, and you know, even if he doesn't die, you're just like, well, Michael Myers, don't open the box. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's the Michael Myers like, box. Thank God he's just a dude. Right, he's just a dude. Yeah. He, you know, he's got a knife. Simple, effective, but there's stuff that you could do with that, yeah. you know? Slender Man. Yeah, from the classic movie Slender. <laughs> right, I was going to say, from like, timeless... Movie villain. To very specific time and place. <laughs> right, Slender Man. <laughs> who has no real good movie. Has a video game that lasted for a couple months. Uh, but a me the memes live on. Yeah. Is this a controversial opinion that I don't find him scary at all? How dare you? <gasps> How He is slender and he has no face. <laughs> hey, I don't body shame. No, I'm just saying. He's a very tall man. <laughs> tall, slender man. I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah, he's got to watch out for that. The he's got, tentacles. He's got those tentacles. You need to consider the tentacles. He does have yeah, tentacles. true. He does have tentacles, and that is octopus adjacent. It's true, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which is close. That, that's getting near your real house. For all you know, you pull off that mask, or is it a he mask? Could or be a sea he, monster. Could, he could be an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, A tier. See, if I just like, oh, <laughs> all the way into that. No, in all seriousness, uh, I do think it's an interesting, uh, like, internet folklore. Yeah, like, it is an internet, he's the originator uh, of a lot like, of that internet folklore. Not the original here. creepypasta no. or anything, but, like, one of the first it's waves of, the of internet cryptids, which is super cool. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's been around long enough for, to, for us to say he has a legacy or anything. Yeah. Uh, I would go D. I, I would agree. I, yeah, I, I agree. <clears throat> I think, like... His legacy isn't so strong, and they, you know, that he's like living on as like I can't wait to see more of yeah. him. You know, you collect your eight pages, you're good. You just don't turn around, you know. It's oh, yeah, don't, right, yeah. right. That's the thing. Just don't turn around, guy. Like, don't look. Just look for the pages, man. Oh no, he made my vision staticky for a minute. Oh, shucks. Yeah. It's so interesting to hear a perspective on this because when I found out about Slenderman, I was eleven. Yeah. And Slenderman was terrifying huh. to me. Yeah, that's like, great. Me and my friends in sixth grade would go down and like open up the gaming laptop in the garage and play it, <laughs> uh -huh. and we would literally scream as the like, as it got static. -y. Why in the garage? Um, I don't know. It's Her the scariest a place to play setup. games. <laughs> <laughs> it got really dark. I mean, to be fair, I I used to play video games in the in the laundry room. So that the was the second scariest place to play. <laughs> right? So honestly, I get it. I mean, all the rumbling <clears throat> and the loud beeping from the washing machine out of nowhere. Burr, burr, yeah. Jump scare. Uh -huh. You open so, it and Slenderman's just in there. <laughs> no, he's too. T he's too tall. He can contort. He, I'm okay. sure. I, I, he has like, to be flexible. <laughs> Does he though? Yes. He stands ramrod straight all the time. <laughs> I but like his. I don't know what it I, is. His limbs because he's so small. It implies that it's very easy for him to like fold so into himself where, like a piece of paper. So where would you put Slenderman then? For in you, in the washing machine. <laughs> where where is the washing machine on the tier list? Yeah, what is, is it? Is it ka? <clears throat> um. Yeah. It's, is it, it's, is it? What was it? What was the? D d d no, 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 it was. <laughs> oh, that's uh, and yeah, that, that's that's F. Uh, so like, d was a. Uh, yeah. Um. I put it in the C sound. The k like you're like I only know two or three of these, and Slenderman is what he's horror for a new Surely generation. Surely right? you know yeah. some of the other ones. He was just like what my... kind of opened me up to a lot of the horror stuff on YouTube. Yeah, like that was him. Totally, I get yeah. that. That's fair. Uh, the Terminator. I was gonna say. Here we go. Terminator. Uh, which Terminator? <laughs> I, so all so, of them. Yeah. The general concept of uh, Skynet Terminators. Because I think, because you're right, there are very different versions across a lot of different franchises. In this case, since we're talking about general, like, series villains, I think even, even, across, even Robot. Yeah, even, 
Go even ahead. across like the Terminator franchise, there are really good ones and really bad ones. I know that's true. In terms of like scary Terminator, I would agree. Uh, like I think kind of bring it, those movies are very prescient, by the way. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're, we're talking a whole lot about like. AI taking Sky over the world. Skynet taking yeah. over, and it's like, oh, yeah, this, I mean, well, and, and the, the funny thing about Terminator, right, is that, like, that's the joke that everyone makes about, like, oh, the AI's gonna take over the world and destroy the world, and, and like, we created our own Skynet, but, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, so you're totally right. Yeah, so I, I think in terms of, like, legacy, this is a movie that will not die. It's yep. a franchise that will, it always comes back. It always comes back. Like How dare died. you? He, he did it. He knew it, too. <clears throat> he knew it. I appreciate, I appreciate that you knew it. So, but I'm not going to acknowledge it. I'm not going to say it. But in all seriousness, <laughs> uh, it, th- this is a franchise that will not die. Yeah. James Cameron's rebooting it again. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, like man. at some point, um, which is almost very much like the Terminator itself in that, like, they'll keep coming after they you until... Coming. They won't like, stop coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Yeah. Until um, the rules and you hit the ground running. <laughs> so much to do, so much to see. <laughs> so uh, what is wrong <laughs> with taking the back street? <laughs> You'll never shine if you don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd be inclined to say... I'd be inclined to say B. I can agree with that. Yeah, can you? Yeah. I, like, I... I <clears throat> I'm, it's almost like I wouldn't necessarily put it on this list to begin with, right? Like, yeah, I, they, when they, I think when of Terminator, I think horror it's not monsters, horror. It is not. Yeah. yeah like, so I'm putting you up there, but not for the reasons yeah, that everyone like, else is like, up here. Like, I question you being on here in, in the first yes. place, but it is on this list, so this is what we do. Chucky the, leave, the Living Possessed Doll. Uh... Not scary at all, F. Right? The, the whole Chucky franchise is built on this idea of him being, like, goofy. <clears throat> yeah, and, you like, you have to be... I feel like you have to have some very specific thoughts and feelings about dolls mm-hmm. to be scared of this movie, and if you don't have that, it's just, like... Right. Like, well, and also, like, I, I personally find dolls upsetting a little bit. Like, especially certain designs of dolls mm-hmm. I find upsetting. This is not that doll. <laughs> like, when I think of scary dolls, I think of, like... Some of the American Girl dolls are some of the more porcelain face dolls. Yeah. Like, 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 those are scary to me. Uh, the buddy doll, Chucky here, he, his design has never been particularly frightening to me. And then you give him this like deep masculine voice of the guy he's possessed with in the movies where he's like, I'm going to get you, kid. And it's like, it's just goofy. Like, and I get that's the point. He's, it's a horror comedy, the Chucky series. So that's fine. But when you're ranking lists of like, who am I most scared of? Yeah. Who's most iconic? I appreciate him. He's not one of those ones that I'm like, yeah, that guy. I love that guy. I agree with that, 100%. Back to Stephen King. Yeah, with Carrie. Carrie. I mean, th- 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 this is the girl you bullied in school. Right, like... I mean, <laughs> Suddenly has telekinetic powers and will destroy you. Right, that, so again, to me, I look at this one, and, and if one of our criteria are, how scary is this? It's like, oh, I'm not scared because I'm going to be nice to the girl. Yeah, and, Like, and, I'm not, not going to bully like, the girl. Also, like, I identify. Yeah, right, like, it's like... <laughs> Like, oh, oh, you you dream about having telekinetic I, powers? That I you can... question who made this list. <laughs> like, this is hashtag relatable right here. <laughs> this is aspiration goal, like the hashtag life goals. I I would be remiss if I didn't say I was one of those kids at one point who dreamed he had telekinetic powers so he could prank people in his school. That's because awesome. it's like you know what I want to. You know, I'm not gonna go off on crazy spree at prom or whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna murder people with yeah. this. But that idea I just of like, give them a wedgie. Yeah, I want to like you know dish back what people are giving to me. Yeah, I get that. So yeah, like that's like it, NA. It's it's yeah. It, if we're putting it on here, like I mean, we could also make a new category. Right. Sure. If we're putting it on here from our our very official yeah. uh, tiers. I don't think it deserves to be in the same thing as the car in Chucky. Right. Yeah, so it's not I, I feel like D. Right. But it's, I also like don't it's not a horror movie monster, in my opinion. Yeah, I would agree. <clears throat> right? I and and again, as a movie, I actually like Carrie a lot. Yeah. Uh, as a musical, it's not great, but there's a couple bangers in there. Uh, the Carrie is one of the most notorious and well known Broadway flops of all time for as far as movie Oof. musicals go. Uh, they've tried it a couple times. I've seen it. It's decent. Uh, I didn't see it on Broadway. I saw a revival of it uh, in... Where was it? In L.A., actually. It was pretty good. Um, there's a couple real good songs in it, but for the, it's, a, it's a weird show, as I, you would expect. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. That's it's, fascinating. Yeah, I actually did lighting for a revival of it off-off Broadway when Ooh. I was in New York. Uh-huh, fun fact. Awesome. Uh-huh. It's, it's a wacky one, but I, I think it's a great story. I think it's a good show. Just as a, like, villain, if we're ranking these on yeah. the villains, it's not so much. Speaking of movies, they've made great musicals. <laughs> Saw. 
Saw the Musical? I, I am kidding, but... I don't know. I kind of love the idea of Saw the Musical. <laughs> do the you want to play a game? Yes! Yeah, <laughs> I love the idea. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> do you want to play a game? <laughs> I'll kill you really good. <laughs> <laughs> I strapped you in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bear trap on your head. <laughs> no, Try uh, to find the key no more. <laughs> it's out the door. <laughs> I'm stabbing you with needles. <laughs> yeah, but don't look th through the keyhole because there's a gun. <laughs> so yeah, yeah uh, Jigsaw. In a world where people have seen everything, <clears throat> yeah. to create a villain who has... Who is the right way to do the creepy doll. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. If you're comparing Chucky versus uh, Jigsaw, um, the puppet... Uh, B Barry the Puppet? What's, what's the puppet's name? Great. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, that iconic puppet from Jigsaw that we're just saying how iconic that puppet is from Jigsaw. I call it the puppet from Jigsaw? Yeah, I know, right? What is this? Ugh, I, I feel like I should know the puppet from Jigsaw name. Billy the Puppet. Billy the Puppet. I knew Billy. It. Yeah, it's, thank you. It's Billy the Puppet. Thank you. Uh, right? But no, he's, he's iconic, right? Yeah. You, compare, you compare him... Chucky to Billy, yeah, it's, it's like, scary. Like, I could actually see them selling Chucky, which I guess is, like, the point. Yeah. But, yeah, that is a crazed thing someone who's going to kill people yeah. would make. Totally. And, and the fact that Saw create, like, created the body horror, the modern body horror gore horror mm -hmm. genre. Yep. Like, truly terrifying. The, the scares come from, like, we built a trap based specifically on the things that yep. you don't want to do. Yeah. I, I think... A fantastic monster villain. Yep. I, I would put that in ah. Ooh, ah! I think just, like, just my opinion. You know what? I <clears throat> I don't disagree at all. Like, on one hand, I'm like, ooh, and we're putting Jigsaw above Terminator and, and Halloween. So, I like, it's controversial. But I think that the idea of... Because at the end of the day, too, the Jigsaw killer is just like a you know, a guy who wants to make people appreciate their life. Yeah. He's got this twisted morality, but he's a normal guy, you know? And I think that that in and of itself is, it makes it particularly scary. I think the traps that are designed are really smartly done. I think- Creative the, too. Yeah, super yeah. creative, uh, you know, very theorizable, which I appreciate. Like we've done yeah. multiple theories about like how to survive this, how to, I think that's really cool. Um, and yeah, like, like you said, it feels, believable and realistic in a way that and and also a threat right like you don't know when jigsaw or one of his acolytes or whatever is going to get you you know are you appreciating your life well enough well who knows like it feels scary in a way that's like oh i i don't know if i could fight against that it's mm -hmm. cool I, I agree and it like you said it has 10 movies <clears throat> and still going and still going like. and and a lot of them are of decent enough quality <laughs> you know i think terminator falls into a tricky territory where the first two are so iconic that None Nothing else can ever up. rise to yeah. it. Whereas Jigsaw, first one's iconic, but like all of them are like at a very even keel for the most. Like there's ebbs and flows. There, there's but... an average that is significantly higher than some horror movie franchises. Like exactly. Yeah. Right. All right. Godzilla. <clears throat> uh, this is another one where like I think culturally, because we are Americans, right. this isn't necessarily something I think we would consider a horror movie monster. Right. Uh, it, I definitely see why this is on this list, yeah. and I know for some of them I don't. It, it was a, a very scary concept. It, it's the idea of radiation and fallout. Right, exactly. That, that is where Godzilla came from, from Japan. Um, for me, I don't find it particularly scary. Is sure. The thing. I agree. Like, iconic, obviously. Uh, you can hear the sound bite in your head, I'm sure. You know the one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's me. That's so, that's what I'm doing right now. I think it gets points for that. Yeah, 100. percent The legacy has been incredible. It's going on like what, 60, 70 oh, years? It, of all of them, right? It's the longest lasting. Yeah, yeah. and it. Well, I guess that's not true. You have some of the horror, like universal horror yeah, yeah, and stuff uh, coming but up. Like, but yeah, but no, a lot of those are also based off of ancient yeah. texts, right? Whereas Godzilla is like, ah! <laughs> exactly. Uh, but because. I don't really consider it a horror movie monster. I, I think that kind of averages out to see. Right, the, like I think this is again, one of those times where this is just kind of like, it would it, it would be a different list for me. Similar yes. to Carrie, similar to Terminator. I think that Godzilla is a very great, like should be A, because of yeah. legacy alone. Yeah. And because of cultural significance, Godzilla has surpassed all those things, right? Yeah, like, yeah the fact that it is so culturally significant for different reasons in 
different parts yeah. of the world is incredible. No, it's it's a monster that has stood the yeah. test of time, is so iconic, is immediately recognizable, is an immediate A tier for me. On a horror movie list, though, as far as like monsters that I'm scared of and, and things that are frightening, you know, I, I think it's missing out on those, which is why. He doesn't, the, he doesn't Spoopy doesn't come to mind. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I think, again, like similar to <clears throat> Terminator, where I question about them being on here, but we're rating them, so let's yeah. rate them. Uh, now, this monster I definitely recognize. Uh, Do you now? <laughs> so, <laughs> Do you? So, so this is the monster from Jeepers Creepers. Uh, obviously, uh, yes. Yeah, clearly, obviously. That movie uh, that everyone totally remembers, Jeepers Creepers. With, uh, the, with that iconic monster from Jeepers Creepers, yeah. The context here being, like, when we pulled this up, I was like, I have no idea who that is. And then, like, three or four sentences later, I was like, you know, they should really have the monster from Jeepers Creepers on. And then you said that, I'm like, I now that you say that, I think that's the monster from Jeepers Creepers. And indeed, it is, it is yeah. the fact. So the fact that you didn't recognize. Yeah, that is immediate deduction of points. That, that's that's uh, docking the points. The concept of this monster, super scary. Yep. Like, uh, if you don't know, because I doubt you've seen Jeepers Creepers, let's be real. Uh, <laughs> he, like steals body parts from people to get stronger. And like, I, I remember a very specific shot. This might've been Jeepers Creepers 2, where they're, it's the one with the bus. Yep. And the bus is broken down in a cornfield. Mm -hmm. And they get one of the jocks out of the bus and he doesn't have his eyes anymore. Yep. Like when, he, when he's thrown back down and he had very striking blue eyes. Mm -hmm. And then you see Jeepers Creepers and he has the blue eyes yep. and that's like super great scare. Yep. Um, not that great a monster, let's be real. So he's looting organs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's accurate. Yeah. He's, he's looter. Do you have thoughts about Jeepers Creeper? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, right? Like you said, I think the concept is good. Yeah. I think the, the <clears throat> movies never really took off. Also, for, I, this, is, this is a deep cut because I don't quite remember the lore of Jeepers Creepers, although isn't he a bug, like a bug monster too? Yeah, he right? comes out of like a cocoon. A cocoon, right? Yeah. So I think that's I think that's one of my biggest problems with the monster in general is it tries to do too much. You know, yeah, where it could have just like, been a creepy thing that steals body parts. Yeah, like honestly, I think this this weird monster creature that loots body parts, like I think that is really creepy. Yeah. Or just a bug creature is really <laughs> creepy, like the fly or things like that. But the problem with Jeepers, I think it doesn't know what it's trying to be, and it tries to be a lot of different things. And yes, and did too hard. <laughs> yeah, stop. Sometimes <laughs> you just got to stop yes, anding Jeepers. So I'd put them in D. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like, I think it's a good concept, but maybe not the best execution of said concept. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, speak, speaking of conceptual villains, I guess, the shark from Jaws. <laughs> Hey, this changed movies. I mean, this is this is you. Yeah. Like, like this yeah, is... Like, I don't... This is an immediate A tier. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> The dead Sharks. soulless eyes. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the sea creatures. Yeah, it eats you. Yeah. Have you seen sharks? They're big. They're, they're big. Now, uh, in terms of like actual movie yeah. stuff, I cannot express how much Jaws is important for the history of oh, movies. Oh, it's huge, yeah. Like, in, it, it was summer blockbuster. It invented the blockbuster, basically. Yeah. Like it, The reason the word blockbuster exists is because people were lining up to see Jaws. Yeah. Uh, the shark it population... It busted the block, as it were. Indeed. <laughs> In case anyone didn't put that, in. <laughs> yes, thank you. In case anyone didn't realize that that the blockbuster, yes, uh, the shark population went down because of this movie. <laughs> Sad. Uh, Kill them all. That being said, yeah, uh, great, con like awesome concept for a movie. They did a really good job not showing yeah. the shark, which made it scarier. Yep. Not like, when you show something that immediately takes away mystery and whatever your mind comes up with yeah. uh, is scarier than what is actually there. But the reason they didn't show the shark yeah. was because the animatronic broke. It's nothing, like a, nothing worse than a bad animatronic, am right. I right? I think we all can relate to the idea of sometimes animatro yeah. you, you know, animatronics be scary sometimes, sometimes they're not. So, so they kind of like stumbled into yeah. a great horror movie. Sure. And... I, the sea monster enthusiast in me wants to put it in A, uh -huh. but the the reality for me, it's probably closer to B or C. Mm, interesting. Yeah, for me, it's one of those things where, again, I, I go back to this idea of like, can you defeat it? And the answer is yes, it's they, a shark. They do in the movie. The, the, they do in the movie. <laughs> and also, like you said, in reality, the shark population went down after this one. So the Jeepers Creepers population stayed the same. <laughs> Sharks, though, yeah, took a fact, major hit. In fact, there might be more insects. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> yeah, you just like punch a shark in the nose. Yeah, right. And yeah, like, that, and, and it's like you know what I'm good. I, right. That, yeah, that's here's the thing. Like shark attacks, <laughs> no joke. Real serious. If if you're in the midst of what, like it's it's bad news, right? But in general, I think I look at some of the like Godzilla. I'm not. I, 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 I'm losing against Godzilla, <laughs> right? I think I could take him. You know, the AI uprising that's happening. We're all losing that one here in like two years. Like we're all done. We're all done. So sharks, yeah, it's just stay out of the water. Or oh, you know. So I think in. I agree with you. The iconic movie villain. Iconic horror movie spawned a lot of bad sequels. <laughs> I was about to say there are like 12 of them. Yeah. In 3D, no less. I'm going to put them C, I think. Yeah. I think I got to. <laughs> Again, these two <laughs> besties. <laughs> Look at this great bell curve. Right? Like, I, I, knew you'd, <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate that. That's the other thing. I knew I wanted Lee to really appreciate the bell curve here. All right. Uh, the, the wolf man. <laughs> there's still a lot of these. We're, I like that we started this being like, oh, they're yeah. going to be fast. We're never <laughs> fast. No, we're, we, we no like talking about movies, guys. But I also don't <clears> want this to be two. Agreed. Right? So I think we got to speed round some of this. So... Yeah, Quick well, gut reactions from all three of us. Sure. Okay. Well, I, I feel like... Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, like D. I'm going to be real. Whoa! Ooh. Was, darn it. These be fighting words. <laughs> I was going to say at least C. Even B. I would say B. Here's the thing. A character who's symbolic of man's own inhumanity and the dark side that all of us have. I think that that's... This, is my, this might be my bias. Yeah, you could beat him, I guess, but can we beat our own inner just, dark side? He just needs therapy. <laughs> he just needs better help. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, I, I think C's good. Okay, you'll say C? Yeah. Jekyll okay. and Hyde? Jekyll and Hyde, so t I love... Uh, Jekyll and Hyde was always one of my favorite fictional stories, too, so that's me showing some that's bias. totally fair. But it is forever. Yeah, like, it, it is one of those that's, like, endlessly relatable. Uh, Freddy, uh, not Freddy Krueger, uh, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th uh, spawned 100,000 <laughs> movies. Uh, I, in my opinion, very similar to Michael Myers in uh -huh. terms of, like, uh, why it works. Yeah, they are basically um, the same thing. Yeah, and, like, for whatever reason, I always found Michael Myers scarier. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would have it at least in the same tier as Michael Myers or below. Yeah. Uh, so I would say C on that one myself. I, you know, it's interesting, because you're totally right. Like, they have the exact same moveset, basically, <laughs> right? They're both masked killers that take a lot of bullets. They're bullet sponges. They can't be killed. They both use sharp objects. One he, uses a knife, one uses a machete. He is actually undead. Yes, Michael Myers yeah. is technically, or sorry, uh, yes, uh, Jason uh, Voorhees yeah. is technically undead. He's a little boy who drowned in a lake, and then... And then grew up. And then grew up somehow, <laughs> but also his body's still in the lake, kind of. Because in the first movie, it's his mom, spoiler alert. No, yeah, you're right. Right. Did yeah. that blow your mind? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I have not seen this movie. I know. No. Uh, <laughs> so, but then he goes to space. And, what other, <laughs> and then what other villain has gone to space and has a cool, like, neo, neo mask? I'll put him in B for now. But, lo but lower <laughs> yeah. than Michael Myers. Yeah, I but agree the with that. But bonus points for him going to space, I think that's cool. He's following He is an home. astronaut. He is an astronaut, which is legit. Um, this is the Phantom of the Opera. Another uh, one I wouldn't really put. Yeah, I, I like wouldn't put him on this list. I don't know okay. why he's here. Yeah, he's another. I mean, he's a classic. Here's the thing. He's a classic movie monster. But don't go to that theater. Don't don't. If if, if he's some, also just a guy. Yeah. If some guy with a mask sings to you sweetly after the theater's closed, ignore him. You know, just say no. Just say no to the Phantom. <laughs> Ash, do you have thoughts on on the Phantom of the Opera? I don't know. I could be convinced. <laughs> I mean, I don't leave open the possibility. Yeah, so, know. so in that case, like, it'll, it'll like be, is he? Does he deserve to be on this list? He'll be. He'll be. The, he'll be <laughs> your music of the night. Yeah, I he'll, think so. Fan of the Opera is going to give you some music of the night. Yeah. Okay. He'll be your angel music. Okay. <laughs> Great. Regan from The Exorcist. Yeah, Regan from The Exorcist. <laughs> Possessed by a demon. Yeah. Spooky. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, but, this movie is. Gr it's more gross to me than scary. Really? Uh, like, like. like huh. uh, Religious horror doesn't really do it for me. Okay. Like, like <laughs> not really do it Thank for you. me. It, um, it, I think it's how I was raised. Yeah, that's fair. Like, Operatic horror does it for Ash. Religious horror doesn't do it for you. I yeah. get it. Sure. Um, a great body horror. Again, like the, this is another movie that changed horror cinema. Uh -huh. Same thing as Jaws. Uh, you know, don't go digging up idols. 
in the desert. <laughs> and you, up can, you, can, you can avoid it. Don't go chasing waterfalls or digging <laughs> up idols. That's what I always say. <laughs> the lost verse the, of the song. The, yeah, that's the part that TLC did not get to give out to uh, the world. That being said, very iconic. This would be at least C or B. Yeah, right. I was going to say, I think this is, I think I would say B. Yeah. Um, the idea of demon possession, I think, because when I look at Exorcist, I think like really what it is isn't a girl. Core it's, concept. it's the concept yeah. of demonic possession from these spirits, and I think that is very difficult to beat. Yeah. In a lot of cases, like you have to actually expel it from the body. The power of Christ compels you, and all that, and that's hard. Like you got to be hurling some holy water. You're a or the way you beat it is like you accepted the demon into yourself, which is always. Like, and then you become Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, and then you become yeah. Jekyll and Hyde, in, in which case you drop a tear. So, so <laughs> who's who's really gotten best at that time? No, but that idea of like it could be anyone, it could possess you, and you lose control of your body. I think that's really scary. Yeah. Um, a lot of this come, like a lot of the horror on a lot of these comes from the loss of control. Yes. I think it's fascinating. And and Very also human. right, and it's also one of those things too where like. Well, the sequels it spawned weren't great, except for Exorcist Believer coming to a, a theater <laughs> near you, uh, which I think is good. It looks good. Um, it's one of those things that it's the again the the role of it in the wider pop culture has been so influential, and it yeah. spawned all these other demon possession ones. I think it's it's really good. It's tough to beat. Um, hey, I'm a movie nerd. Uh, <laughs> I'm a movie nerd, and I'm gonna make my movie scary. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there uh, he is. He got to see. He got dropped into see. Uh, Maybe that's where he should go. No, we'll find out. Like, scream. Uh, honestly, I have no strong feelings one way or the other, and I think that's a bad thing. Yeah, I, I, here's the thing. I would say so. For those of you who don't know the general concept of scream, right? It's it's basically like I'm a I'm a horror movie film nerd, and I'm like reenacting my horror movie fantasies, and basically. I'm actually killing you. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. killing you, right? Like a do you like scary movies? Like the whole thing, right? Do you like scary movies? But at the end of the day, it's a guy in a mask, and there's a lot of conveniences for the the kid in a mask not being thwarted by other like guns you know like <laughs> there's yeah, a, a million other ways there's a lot of can... ways that scream ends yeah let's be honest and Wasn't so matthew lillard in one of these it's matthew lillard yeah. well yes yeah <laughs> wait did you not know that ash i did not yeah <gasps> yo yeah no matthew lillard is uh, yeah uh -huh. wait which one is matthew lillard the first one. <gasps> oh my gosh yeah, really? he, that's matthew lillard that's Matt. I last time I watched this movie was literally ten years ago. Well, I gotta to go back in. Time to rewatch this, <laughs> and then Scooby Doo, and then the FNAF movie. It's making more sense. It's now. it all well, right? It, <clears throat> the worlds line up. You have all the killerness of William Afton in Scream, and all the goofiness of being <laughs> YA from Scooby Doo. FNAF. With their powers combined. Yeah, you get the FNAF movie. There it is. But yeah, at the end of the day, Scream Killer isn't that much of a threat outside of just like being an obnoxious movie nerd. Who yeah, takes and it too like far. I'm more worried he's gonna spout trivia at me. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, what it is. Uh, uh, Samara from the Ring. Ringu. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Don't watch the tape like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, in terms of like avoiding this one, super easy. Don't watch the tape. Don't watch the tape. Right? And, and like you were told not to watch the tape. Right? It literally says, do not watch the tape, and people watch the tape. And like every analog horror after the fact says the same thing. Yeah. And yet people still watch the dang tapes. May yeah, maybe maybe we are cursed by like the Mandela catalog <laughs> at this point, because it's no, we're not God. supposed to watch that tape. And then Amanda we do. the Adventurer? It's true, don't watch that. And yet us humans, that is, it. it's a good point though. Us humans are so desensitized to these sorts of stories that we'd be like, Oh yeah, right. There's no way that this. It, it's, we all think it's fiction. It's the Jason Bateman meme. Right? Yeah, he's looking in the bag. And he's like, I don't know what I expected. Right. Like, yeah. The one. The, so the one time that you get the actual tape that's gonna kill you, you're like, okay, sure. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the. It's all. It's a weird shot of a well and some flies on screen. It's a bad indie art film. Because honestly, like when you True. watch the well, the stuff that's on the tape, that's what it is, right? It's like oh, a, all, film, a, bad a, a, a bad film major's final project. And then all right. of a sudden, it's like, oh, now it's in 3D. Ooh. Right, yeah, exactly. Ooh. Oh, spooky. Uh, uh, no, like, it, I will say, so I thought a lot of the like subliminal messaging in the original ring was scary to me. Like the fact that, that you would see like flashes of the ring pop up in between scenes of the movie, I thought was scary. Then I saw her crawl out of a TV dripping wet. And I laughed out loud. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Some people, like, I was watching with people who thought it was really scary, but I'm like, oh, she's literally <laughs> crawling take out seriously. of the TV. That's not scary to me. So That's I, fair. No, no, what do you think? Uh, it, it also wasn't super scary to me, if I'm going to be honest. I like the concept more than anything. Yeah. Like, it, this was in that era of... Uh, it was a good concept. Like, 
uh, oh, foreign films are actually have a bunch of good ideas. Yes, hundred percent. Let, let's this take from this, them. This grudge, let's this be inspired. Audition. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, which is cool. Uh, not enough for it to bump super high for me. I put this in C. I was gonna say C as well. Great. Uh, uh, the guy so, from Psycho. Yeah, right? Psycho. Norman Bates from Psycho. The guy who uh, has a lot of mommy issues. The origin, yeah. the originator of mommy issues. So like. Of all of these, he is the most just a guy. Yeah. Like, he's the original just a guy. Yeah, he is the original just um, a guy. Don't stop at a creepy hotel in right. the when, middle of the woods. Yeah, when you're getting weird vibes from a motel, maybe move on. Lock the door. Yep. Although um, he's got the key. Got it. Okay. You know what? He, Fair he, enough. He, I can see. He kind of tricks you. That's the thing. Like, you, you know, you're like, oh, pff, screw this guy, but... In actuality, yeah. he's, he's going to come get you. In terms of, like, legacy and iconicness, that bumps him up, I think, just because, like, the, yeah. the, again, one of the original horror movies. Uh, I don't want to say another C, but, like, that's where I'd put it, personally. You know, it's, it, it's interesting, because when you think about, like, how c- could you escape, right? This one is, don't watch the tape, you idiot. This one is, you know, you can't escape your own humanity. Like, these are too fictional. <sighs> With him, it's, it's tough, because you just go... You go to a motel, and you're like, yeah. And you, you are expecting it to be safe, to be fair. Yeah, right? And, yeah. and, that's, and it's in, right, that's the thing. Even if you get weird vibes, you're like, oh, it's just, he's just a weird guy. You're just, like, creepy. But then all of a sudden, you're in the shower, and he's like, ha I got the key, and I'm going to stay. Like, it's, it's, it's scary in how normal it is. Yeah. And I think that's what's so frightening about it is it's very hashtag relatable. Him yeah. just being a guy actually makes it scarier. Honestly, yeah, mark. kind of, right? You think of B? So I, I might, uh, I might do B just because of how mundane he is, and it's like, oh yeah, I've, I feel like I've met that guy, and I'm like, ooh, you know, that, that could be anyone. Are you okay? Yeah, that could be anyone, right? It's like, oh hey, he just needs a hug, but if you don't give him the hug, he's gonna come kill you. You know, it's scary. Wolfman. Wolfman, uh, the original Jekyll and Hyde. Yes, actually, it's more Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> um, the less relatable Jekyll and Hyde. And yeah, uh, I mean, it's the whole idea that, oh, everyone has the wolf inside of them, right? Yeah. Uh, everyone has that aggression. Uh, I don't... I think this is, like, one of the least scary werewolves. Uh, right, honestly, I think of, like, any... I transform into a werewolf story. Yeah. And in general, those are always pretty... Like, they, they tend to read as pretty lame to me. As opposed to, oh wow, this is scary. And then you have the whole like lore about silver bullets and this and that. Like, there's a lot yeah. of things that. Stop I, I think them werewolves too. work when they are part of a larger thing. You, yeah. As I, opposed to like this is the monster. Right. Exactly. I um, agree. So for me, that's like a D. I agree. D. Perfect. Uh, Hellraiser Pinhead. Yeah. Uh, it's goofy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it. I discovered this way after I think it would have really hit for me. Where, yeah. like, now, when I discovered it in, like, the mid-2010s, it was like, oh, this is the Matrix, yeah. but... Yeah, it's, the, the thing about the, the Pinhead movies, right, uh, Hellraiser, is there are a lot of style over substance, I think, in a lot of cases. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of cool ideas. They're, the monster designs are really... Very great. In, Cl- the Clive Cenobites, Barker's great right? at that stuff. The, the Cenobite uh, monster designs are terrifying. The, they are gory and uncomfortable in a lot of ways. The puzzle box, like basically, this guy is the original Yu Gi Oh! where you unlock a puzzle box and that unle- you know, he's the pharaoh of horror movie. <laughs> like, Yu Gi Boy! It's uh, <laughs> I'm Hellraiser! And like, okay, cool. So, you know, you solve the puzzle box and you instead play of. play a children's card game? Yeah, kind of. Instead, of. instead of unleashing an ancient pharaoh to help you play card games better, you unleash this guy who then haunts you and takes you to his weird Cenobite land. Um. You know, he's been parodied on Rick and Morty. I feel like that loses points in terms <laughs> that, of... Like, in, in terms of it not being scary anymore? Yeah, I guess, right? But th- I feel like at Rick and Morty's done all of these at some point, so maybe that knocks all... But it, it normalizes the data in some way. Um, I don't know. I think the designs are fascinating and scary. And I think the movies are disturbing. But it's just not a lot there, there. Like, I'd say either... Now, and it hasn't really say. been... Uh, it doesn't really have legacy. In it doesn't of, really, like, which a is lot of weird. The other, these other ones. They tried to reboot. They recently tried to reboot it too. And, oh, with, and the, people, with the with the woman, right? Yeah, and people the, didn't really love it. That's unfortunate. What do you think? Do you see? I think it's scarier than like Jeepers Creepers. So I'd put I it would in, agree, in C. And, and and also more long lasting than yeah. Jeepers Creepers. I would say, yeah, that's fair. Uh, the Blob. 
oh, this is just a big yeah, old blob I, that eats people. Yeah, um, the confession, I, I haven't seen this movie, so I can't, I don't feel like I can contribute I saw the, a whole much. I saw the original, I haven't seen any, like, re, like I don't know, if, is this the original branding? I forget. It's, it's a big old blob. That eats that, people? That, that just continues to grow and eat people. I, I, I feel like there are concepts that do that, but better. Like, yeah, I get this is coming all from no, no, someone who's never seen it's, the here's, movie. Here's the thing, like, it's, the, it's that iconic, like, unstoppable force uh, FNAF, it's Fazgoo. <laughs> it's, 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 there's a lot of stories in FNAF that I'm yeah. like, oh, it's the blob. You're, uh, you run away from it. Eventually it consumes everything and everyone and it busts through walls and theaters and doors and stuff. It's it's fine. It's not particularly... It, it's not... Here's the thing. It's not like personified enough to be scary. Yeah. It's slow moving so you kind of can run away from it. Eventually it'll get you but you just like fly away. I don't know. Like, yeah. It's goofy. It's B-horror. It's... It's fun and dumb. And I see something on this list that will do that, but better. Okay, great. Coming on. Uh, oh, wait, okay. Yeah. Uh, where going. Predator, which is Predator. also another one that I wouldn't necessarily... Not put. a horror movie monster. Yeah, uh, ac- ac- but, action movie. I mean, great design. Yeah, long-lasting. Like, all that true. I would not put it on this list at all. No, like, I, I, I would agree. He falls into a different category. But, that con- so if you're assuming that it's a horror monster, right? And, and the original Predator kind of is where it is an unstoppable, very super smart hunter and his, mm-hmm. and his game is man. You know, like the, the, the most dangerous game is man and he's super smart and hunts you down and whatever. What do you think? Counterpoint, he was beaten by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was beaten by Arnold Schwarzenegger. See, okay. sure, yeah. <laughs> no, no offense. Uh, trick or treat, uh, this is, I, oh, I forget the, this little, he's got a little pumpkin head under there. He's like basically the embodiment of Halloween. Like anytime yeah, he there's- he just a, wants to have a good time. Yeah, he's, he is, he's cute. He runs around and kills you if you disrespect Halloween, basically. He's like, you didn't give candy to kids? Ah, yeah, knife You know what, face. honestly, deserved. Right, yeah. You know, oh, you, less deserved? Oh, you <clears> blew <throat> out your jack-o'-lantern before midnight. I believe that's one of his rules. Is how, like, how dare you? Yeah, he gets mad because you ended Halloween early. So, I forget his name, Sam? Sammy? I don't know. But he's, it, I, I remember liking Trick or Treat a lot. It's one of those underappreciated Halloween classics that if you have not seen it is worth watching. I remember liking it a lot. I forget a lot of the specifics of it. Um, but just treat Halloween nicer. Yeah, like D. That, that D, makes sense to me. Like, I, he, they haven't done a whole lot with him. He hasn't been super iconic, so I think D's there. Yeah. Invisible Man! The Invisible Man, I, a confession, I've never seen the first one. I have seen the remake. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the idea of being attacked by someone unseen, scary. Yeah. Uh, hard to I mean, avoid. Yeah, hard to avoid, hard to can beat. break in. I, I think this one, just the idea of like the in, an invisible person haunting you, I mean, it's basically just like a ghost, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd put this one like B. Ooh. I like that. I like the Invisible Man. I, I've always liked the Invisible Man. I think he's, again, he's not necessarily scary, but the idea of a person who's invisible and has like, and is bad, and is gonna use that invisibility to do bad things where he hurts people, stalks people, things like that is frightening. Yeah. And so I think that concept is frightening. And yeah, if done right, he should be basically unbeatable, you and, know? and very easily applied to the modern day, which I think yes. is interesting. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's it's one of those persistent. It it has a relevance and a persistence that like <laughs> Wolfman does not. Right, when it comes yeah. to classic horror movie Agreed. monsters. Uh, Leatherface, Leatherface, guy uh, with a uh, chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, of uh, like I, I I categorize Leatherface and Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers all in the same kind of family of of horror monster, and he's yeah. the least good of those three. Yeah, uh, that's fair. I mean. I unlike the other two though they have they have blades and he has a, a chainsaw. A chance of that yeah, one in yeah it goes broom. Um, like C, we're doing lightning round. Just yeah. C. I will say that uh, <laughs> the the Leatherface in our local Spirit Halloween that I went into the other day had him as uh, as like wearing wearing lipstick and stuff. Like uh, apparently one of the new versions of Leatherface is is he's. Dressing up in like wigs and lips. I don't know. It's it's the the lore around Leatherface. The lore around Leatherface has always been a bit weird. He comes from a cannibal family, but also I don't. I don't it's just he's not particularly scary. He's just yeah, kind and, of obnoxious. And in terms of avoiding him, take care of your vehicle. You won't break down. Well, but, that and also you hear a chainsaw coming from a mile away. Yeah. So <laughs> if you hear a chainsaw, you best be running. You know. Uh, Mummy. The mummy. Uh, don't desecrate tombs, and you can avoid the mummy. Uh, this if this was if this was the mummy from like Dwayne the Rock Johnson era, 
If this is Brendan Fraser's yeah. mummy, I'd agree with that. Top tier, <clears throat> you know th that mummy. But this is old school. Yeah, mummy. old and like. Eh. Don't desecrate tombs. Yeah, don't desecrate tombs. It, it, the easiest one to avoid. On a, uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Like they were buried for a reason. Honestly, just be nice to the history, yeah. man. He's mad at you. Respect. Uh, it follows. It follows. Great modern horror movie. So uh, for those who don't know, it follows is a, an entity that can sh change forms and look like anything. Um, most most often as other, it, it looks takes the form of people, and it follows you relentlessly. It's yeah. slow, but it will always follow you no and, matter where and you it, go. And it is transferred through uh, sleeping with somebody. Basically, it, yeah. it is it is a horror movie version of an STD. Yes. basically. <laughs> yeah. Which I mean, like I mean, you you laugh, Ash, but it is. Wait, so if you sleep with someone, does it go away and go to the next? person? It does. Yeah. Yeah. It passes it, forward, and, and then it works its way back. And to then you. it, it okay. yeah, and then it kills that person. If it kills that person, it goes back to the last person that had it. So sleep with someone as fast as you can. Basically, I mean, that is a strategy in the movie. That, yeah, that is a strategy in the movie to pass okay. it on. Yeah, so you're yeah. downloading like Tinder, Hinge, <laughs> oh, all you're of them. getting them all, all on your phone. All of the dating yeah. apps, yeah. yeah. You swipe, you're swiping right all the time. <laughs> oh, just, I don't care. All just, them, no, there are no there are no boundaries, no rules. <laughs> you live 45 miles away? That's great, great actually. That's I'll make a trip, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> all, all the eggplant emojis yeah. in all the messages. <laughs> Uh, in terms of legacy, I mean, it's new, so it like, hasn't had that chance, I think. I think this one, if they ever make a sequel, has a potential. Yeah. I kind of hope they don't, yeah. to be honest. I agree. Um, I also think it's just really scary. Yeah. <laughs> and as a concept, I'd put this in like B, maybe C for me. Here's, here's the interesting thing for me. I, I, would, I was thinking A. Um, here's, I, I can be convinced. Here's, here's the reason why. Like we said earlier, it's hard to cut through the noise. And this yeah. was one of those indie yeah. movies that came out of nowhere came out of nowhere and everyone was like this movie's aw i had so many people telling me that i needed to go see this movie when it was first released because of how awesome the concept was and this idea of you don't know what this thing looks like but you know something is pursuing you all the time and it will always come after you and even if you pass it on it will come back to yeah, you the embodiment of that paranoia that, wait what yeah yeah, no, even if you pass it on, eventually it'll come back. Like, if it gets through the list, it comes back to you. So you <gasps> never know. Like, you're never safe from it, yeah. is the thing. And so and you, so one of the strategies is to keep it on you the whole time, so you always at least know it's coming. Because if you pass it on and then you're not paying attention, it's there. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's a great concept. And it prompts all these strategies about how you can win, how you can beat it. We did a whole theory about that. We did. Check it out. We did. It's, it's, a, it's a great episode for a great movie. Um, I like this one a lot. And even though it lacks a lot of the trappings of it has 10 movies or it's unkillable or like it's a cool <laughs> Maybe it side. doesn't need 10 movies. No, no. Honestly, I think what's so great about it is it presents this fear <laughs> that is omnipresent, feels unbeatable, yeah. and is incredibly relatable in a lot of ways, where it's like, oh, I, I can see what I would have to do in this situation, and it's, it's very tough. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a modern classic, and I, I think it's that. one that yeah. like, will be able to persist for a long time, and I, I don't know, I, maybe it's not quite a tier, but I think it does like, a lot to I, I feel like it, if Two or three years from now, I think we could very easily make that determination if it is yeah. still as yeah, you know, goes still that hard. Yep. Um, yeah. Cool. Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter from uh, Silence of the Lambs. For me, easy A. Like I know there, it, you can avoid him. He's in this cell. But here's the thing about Hannibal Lecter: he will convince you to let him out and let him kill you. Mm, he's yeah, he's g gaslighting the villain. Yeah, like, basically. Uh, yeah. Like, like and just. Uh, the performance from Anthony Hopkins was terrifying. Yeah. And uh, there's a reason that character, despite... Like, he, I think he... I don't remember if he won the Oscar or not for that, but he was at least nominated for yeah. like six minutes of screen time. Yeah, I was going to say, he's only on screen for like six or seven minutes or something like that, like yeah. ten. And yeah. Also, also he, spawned a TV show that everyone loves. Yeah. 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 It also spawned... Uh, uh, and a, and a prequel. An Edward Norton movie no one likes? Yeah, no, no one liked <laughs> that one. Um, for those who don't know, Hannibal Lecter, he's a cannibal, but he's a, a, a he's this like convicted killer who's cannibalistic, and then they go to it. He's not even the main villain of the movie, which is, I yeah. think, is the other interesting thing about this, is he is the... He's the person they go to for help. Yeah, right? Which I think everyone always forgets, is they assume that he's the villain of the movie, but he's not. He's yeah. just there as like a mentor 
but then he uses the situation to his own advantage. Yeah. Which I think is really compelling. You named your cannibal Hannibal? Yeah, right. It's also good. A? Yeah, I put him in A. a? I put him in A. Okay. Go personally. For it. Let's do that. That's All I'm right. fair with that. The thing. The thing. It's the blob, but way better. That's true. Um so it, the thing about the thing, huh? It is it, it is Got an him. alien creature that cra- crash landed on Antarctica millions of years ago mm-hmm. and an Antarctic expedition finds it and like suddenly things start getting weird and basically if this thing touches you mm-hmm. in any I'm talking like a cell gets on you you are your entire being is replaced by this alien yep it, it is the original one of those like like uh, imposter stories, right? It's, it's the original Among Us. Yeah, basically. No, it is, because he all because he's able to duplicate and, and replicate you, right? And so you don't know... I mean, really, Among Us is the thing. Yeah, that's just, but like, that's yeah, just it. Like, it. It literally like, is. No joke. Actually, no joke. It is. That is. Um, well, if you want to know where Among Us came from, it's that movie. Yeah, and like I love that the, the movie... Ignoring all the other franchise stuff, the movie ends and like, you don't know if they won or not. Yeah. Right, it ends on this cliffhanger of like, yeah. uh, who's who's the imposter? Are either of them the imposter? Yeah, like are, are both? Are neither? Are... Yeah, you don't know. It's it's yeah, a great it, cliffhanger. It's great, really good. great it's a good movie, movie just in general. Fantastic uh, practical effects. Yeah. Like if you've ever wanted a movie that's like, oh, I miss practical effects because of how scary and like frightening yeah. they can be. Like that is it. The thing is great. You know that, that, that prequel movie they did, mm-hmm. they had practical effects in that, and yep. then they replaced them all with CG, which so, is tragic. So I would put this in A. I think this is one. This is one of the best horror movies I've ever seen. It, like, I, I, you know, it's it's one of my all time favorites. I agree. I would also say that the concept of knowing who is the fake, who's the imposter around you, it's incredibly hard. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't know. A good strategy to win that one like it's hard yeah. like that's the whole dilemma of the movie is like how do you find this thing that you don't know until it's too late and so as a villain fantastic lasting legacy although it didn't spawn a lot of sequels or things like that it spawned among us yeah it's, stuff like it yeah it spawned a bunch of like yeah. body imposter things like that i like this movie i think it's great i would say yeah yeah let's go up there i like yeah. it we could throw an alien up there, sure. <laughs> I like that two of them are just humans and then an alien. <laughs> and then they're completely different. <clears throat> Dracula. Yes. Count Dracula, uh, one of the OGs, uh, based on a real person, fun fact, Vlad the Impaler. Yep. Anyway. He, uh, Good one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Screen Rant. <laughs> AI-generated article. <laughs> no, uh, Dracula. You're the imposter, isn't it? You're the thing. Oh, no, I touched you. Yeah. No, you got my cells. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cl- vampire, classic. Uh, like, depending on the version of the character, and this is obviously going off the, uh, I cannot remember this man's name to save my life, the Italian actor. Bella Lugosi is yeah, who you're yeah, looking for. Thank yep. you. But this Bella Lugosi version, super iconic. Uh, maybe not the scariest version of sure. this character. No, certainly not. Uh, I, I think in terms of iconicness, though, I'd put this at another A. Yeah. For Dracula. Dracula's everywhere. The thing about, I got a doc Dracula points because you could beat him real easily. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a whole or, yeah. Buffy the Vampire like, Slayer the has shown me how yeah. many vampires get <laughs> wasted by a teenage girl. I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer right great now. Great show, great, fantastic show. It, it holds up so well. It's great. We should talk about it. Like, it's actually, amazing. yeah, so much fun. Um, but all you gotta do is not invite him into your house. Fair enough. He's like, oh, I want to suck your blood. And he's like, no, no, no thanks. thanks. No, thank you. Consent is key. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right, well, I'm going right. to go home. Back <laughs> then, monsters knew how to be p- p- gentlemen. <laughs> monsters knew how to be gentlemen back then, let me tell you. Wow. He, he was a man who did not enter your house unless you invited him. He knew. He understood. Uh, no, I... I, I think vampires are reasonable. Yeah. Vampires are so iconic, and so I, I love... I love vampires so much. I love vampire stories. This man gave rise... To the Edward Cullens of the world, and we have him to thank for that. So, and, like honestly, like the world's better off because of it. Honestly, <laughs> it's true. Uh, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Uh, the idea of your dreams. Yep, I agree. Easy. Uh, Easy. Your egg. dreams killing you. Fantastic. His origin's a bit goofy, but who cares? Yep. Like, just great character. I. I uh, it's funny. I honestly look at this entire roster, and there is no other easier A for me than Freddy Krueger for uh, as yep. goofy. Because he's another one who like rides comedy, similar to what Chucky was trying to do. Yep. He rides comedy as like he does puns, he does pop culture references, he transforms into goofy villains, whatever. The idea, this is one of those ones, similar to It Follows, where the idea of a killer who can't be stopped because it's in your dreams 
that is horrific. And there's nothing you can do. And like, and like the idea- You will eventually like, fall asleep. Exactly, yeah, like dreams are supposed to be the escape, yeah. right? And turning that into the fear is fantastic. Yeah. Great character, great movie. Right, yeah. fantastic design. <clears throat> um, some incredibly scary kills too. Like mm -hmm. the the first one where Johnny Depp gets sucked into his own yeah. bed and like vomits out blood. Like it's terrifying. The idea of like if you fall asleep you die. So scary. And yeah. there's nothing you can do. Like you, how do you beat it? It's so hard. Um, uh, Frank, uh, that's not the scientist. That's not the one that should be on here. No. <laughs> yes. It's the Thank monster. You. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Thanks. Well done. It's Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, Frankenstein, classic, classic story. Uh, all jokes aside, I do think it's arguable that this, char this character should not be on here. Frankenstein should be the, not. The, the doctor. Monster. Yeah. Classic, classic zombie stuff. I'm, I'm Like me, this is another Dracula where I would put it in A. I yep. think B is also reasonable. Yep. Uh, everyone is Frankenstein. Like... It, the yeah. idea of like, oh, I created something that is more human than me. Mm, that's it. That's interesting. I've never actually thought about that. That's really interesting. I never thought about it from that perspective. And, and that's like, cool. Like, and but the way I mistreated it has made it try to destroy me. Huh. Yeah. That's fair. That's cool. I like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's reasonable. That's also reasonable. Uh, the thing is, I could, I could beat Frankenstein though. Could you? He's, and like a fist fight? He's, he's slow. You can, he's, he, the thing is, right? Frankenstein, the face. Yeah. You know, Michael Myers, like Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, all of them are like these unstoppable entities, right? You can also probably just shoot him. Right? He's, he's, a, he's a bunch of body parts. Just unsew him a little bit and he like yeah. pop, pops over. Uh, no, I, for the iconicness, here, for the iconicness, I, I'll bump those okay. guys up because they are so reasonable. iconic. But yeah. Uh, Xenomorphs. Xenomorph. From Alien, which um, I, took me a while to figure out what this yeah, is. It's not the best picture of a Xenomorph they could have chosen. Uh, another one of my favorite horror, just sci fi and horror series. Yep. Great. Uh, I, I think the idea of, like, oh, you have this, the, the face hugger, mm -hmm. like, and you finally get it off of you, and you're like, oh, thank God that's over. Yeah. Whatever that was. Yeah, that and was then, weird. Right, then all and then, like, actually, no, you're going to die. Like, fantastic, creepy, uh, weird, disgusting. It bleeds acid. Yeah. It, it's the, like, uh, it does one more thing and one more thing and one yeah. more thing, but, like, done right. They yeah. knew, like, where to stop. Yeah, they, the power set on the, the Xenomorph alien is so well-crafted <clears throat> and makes perfect sense and doesn't push the boundaries of, like, I don't believe that, but, yeah. like, but it's terrifying. You know, it's yeah. super powerful, but it doesn't feel overpowered. And it, fe it all makes, the, like you said, the bleeding acid, the spitting out of, like, another mouth, the, like, impregnating other living individuals to pop out of. Like, yeah. it is so good in its power set, and they all work together in a way that doesn't reduce it or make it feel, like, absurd. Yeah, I, I would put that one in B. Like, I, I'm not quite sure it's an A. Yeah. It's another one that suffers from some bad movies, but... Uh, it, is a, it is, like, one of the best movie aliens, if not the best yeah. movie alien. I'd agree. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll, let's go B. I'll go B. I'll do B. Jack. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Like, you just, know. Just Jack Nicholson. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you, you can uh, tell I mean, him by movie, his name, Jack story. Torrance, but like, yeah, like, it's Jack Nicholson. Great movie, great story. Um, he's a guy. He's, he's also just a guy. He is just a guy. Uh, kind of possessed <laughs> is the whole thing about The Shining. Um, not exactly what I think of when someone says horror movie monster. Sure. No. Uh, C? Right. These are guys that could use some therapy. Yeah, like, these I mean, are basically. Just, like, <laughs> just talk through some feelings, work through some things. Like, spend there. some time with your son and, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I would yeah. agree. He, at, the end of the, at the end of the movie, he's beaten by cold. He's, he's beaten by winter. Yeah, you know the meme face where yeah. he like freezes to death. That no, that's like the end of the movie. Yeah, that's the end of the movie. He, he, he's frozen, and then so. he and then he becomes a ghost and yeah. he's part of a photograph. Right. So it's like eh, okay. My so there's the tier list. Do you feel good about this? Any any last minute additions, changes? Not. I think we did a good job. I feel good about this. Yeah. Right. I like this. This 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 is your bell curve. You got the bell curve. Yeah, like, we need some more Fs, but... I do think that, you know, we don't. I think, I think we're good with the Fs. I also think, you know, especially if you take away some of the people that were like, hey, you know, Carrie... I like that Godzilla and Carrie. Yeah, Carrie, and, Godzilla, yeah. Terminator, Predator, probably like ones that you can remove. Like, out, yeah. it, it, it definitely evens out really well. 
And yeah, it's it's interesting to me to see how well dispersed all the tiers are. And it really showcases that there are good, bad, and great villains and monsters in movies, no matter what decade you're talking yep. about. I think that's really cool, right? Like, I look at this top tier, and it's like... 2000s. You know, Jigsaw, very 80s, recent. 80s, 90s. Yeah, 80s, 90s. 20s. And then, yeah, and then, like, yeah. ancient history, right? Or you look across here where, like, you know, here's... 80s, a little bit earlier, and then you got like super early, early modern, early, and, then, and then like this year, and then yeah, like super, the current super year. recent. This is great. It's it's a really good mix. Horror is such a cool genre. And it is like it. I love it. So now the question becomes, my friends, where in this horror pantheon does Fred Bear Faz 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 end? Man? Yeah, yeah. Fred, I was gonna be like, yeah, what's the Fred, Fred Bear, Bear Faz, Faz, Faz Man? Man. Where is Fred Bear Faz Man in this tier list? Uh, I mean, like, depending on how the movie quality it's, actually turns out, I was gonna say you it know, depends. like B. <laughs> That's nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well, who knows? Like, you don't have to impress. Me. Yeah, you don't. You, you don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, in you know. all seriousness, like the fact that that has uh, uh, the FNAF is still relevant. It's it is like, wild to me that you do this list a year from now. Suddenly, Fred Bear Faz Man is on here. Like honestly, it is. And Urpel, Urpel will be Ur on here. Urpel guy. I, there's Both a of lot them. of villains on that movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like they're trying to do too much. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. We'll okay. see. Hey, we'll, we'll find out. Hey, he is Steve Raglan. Okay, you don't that, know. I, yeah, Urpel my Man mistake. There. I'm sorry. You don't know anything. Um. So anyway, that's that's cool. And and I love again. Horror, such an incredible genre. So many different ways to scare people. Such an incredible time capsule of what is scary to a society at any given point in time. Yep. That's what's so cool about all of it. So uh, let us know down in the comments below who should be on this list. Who did we misplace? What are your thoughts? Uh, I'd love to read them because this is the sort of like, I love spooky season because I love watching other people like analyze bad, good, memorable horror movies. And so I love seeing these sorts of discussions. This is the sort of stuff I can talk about all day. So Lee, thank you for joining me on the couch Absolutely. today. Absolutely, thanks Ash, for having me. We've given you a whole slate of movies that you should now see. Yeah, yeah. we expect you, your report tomorrow. Uh, yes, chef. <laughs> we chef, all right. And, <laughs> thank uh, you. and you guys, uh, thank you as always for joining us and we'll see you in the next video. So remember, it wasn't live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!